All right, what is up, you guys? It's your boy C. A. Corey, back with another video. So, I'm so mad. <laughs> I literally brought my GoPro here. There it is. I brought my GoPro here because I was like, all right, but I'm gonna film a video, you know, because I haven't filmed in a couple days. And I was like, all right, bet I'm just gonna, you know, film and then do a quick little video. That's it. No. I realized, so I ended up buying this battery pack. So then that way it could charge three batteries all at the same time. So this way I don't have to keep changing out my battery or, you know, in case the camera dies, I could just have an extra battery to just throw in and, you know, keep on filming. So I ended up just picking up my GoPro and then coming today. And I did not realize, I did not realize at all that I didn't even put one in there and and all three are sitting home inside of the battery pack right now so <laughs> that's the situation i had right now me trying to be overly prepared ended up not getting nothing so it's cool though um so i'm just gonna do a quick little drive today i want to go over the things that i like about the c8 because i realized i talked about everything that i disliked about it but i didn't talk about anything that i liked about the c8 so this one's just going to be strictly about what i like about the c8 so let's just start off with number one which a lot of people don't really talk about but it's really good it's a big screen here wait let me not click that <laughs> um it's a pretty big screen if you guys don't know like a lot of cars nowadays they don't have big screens like the Aston Martin Vantage and I say this constantly because I'm noticing it's like a trend a lot of these fast cars look amazing on the outside but on the inside the screens are, are tiny Aston Martin Vantage looks amazing on the outside the screen is tiny <laughs> Corvette C7 Z06 looks amazing and menacing on the outside the screen is like half of this screen <laughs> so for me, I'm big on screens. Like if I'm gonna be having ways up and I need directions, I'm not trying to stare at a tiny screen, you know? So I want something that's big, something that's not gonna bother me. And I'm trying to be able to see clearly. So for me, big screens is really what uh, matters. That's basically what it is. Um, thank God to the good old iPhone. You can always just film on this. And the fact that it's got the wide view can kind of make it seem like you guys are on my GoPro. So not too bad. <laughs> uh, another thing that I really like, so a lot of people don't realize this, but this is, you know, you can't see nothing with this. Like you can't see nothing because the big spoilers in the back. So they put a camera on the back of this, close to the back window where when the top goes down, there's like a camera like right on the back piece. So it turns that into a camera, which makes it easier to see because anyone who drives this car, you see that the blind spots are terrible. You can't see nothing. So with bad blind spots and not being, not being able to see behind you, this definitely, definitely helps. Um, what should I go to number three? Number three, I will say I really do enjoy the room in this car. Um, you know, in many cars that are sports cars or, oh, let me put up the windows a little bit, but in many cars that are like sports cars that are super low because this car is very low to the ground. With these cars, because they need the aerodynamics, it's usually not that roomy, but it's a lot of room. I'm five foot 11 and I got more than enough space in here um my dad he's six foot two he has space in here when he's here so out of a lot of fast cars like this car has a lot of room so that's one of my favorite things about it it has a lot of room so next on the list my favorite like angle or piece of the car is the back of the car Everyone likes the front, but for me, I really like the back of the car. The back of the car looks super aggressive and everything. So that's why I like really, really like it. Also, if you just stay on top of maintenance, I promise you, this car will give you no issues. 
I haven't had any problems yet in this car. Just gotta get in front of these people real quick. But yeah. It's Friday, so there might be a little bit more traffic than usual. I'm gonna try to keep the camera up because last time I kept the camera down and you guys couldn't see nothing, so. I'm gonna try to keep it right here. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm trying to come over. This this slow lane is not doing it for me right now. But you know what? It's actually helping because it's gonna help the video to be longer. You know, we're trying to put out these longer videos now, so this is definitely gonna help. But um, yeah, this car has a lot of room for a sports car. Most of these cars, like most sports cars, barely have any headroom, barely have anything else. So that's the one good thing about this car. Another thing that I really like is the exhaust sound. The exhaust, if you go with the Z51 exhaust, you're, you're good to go. Um, I know people that didn't and the car is very, very quiet. The Z51 exhaust gives you that extra sound. Um, even there's some people that tell me my car is loud because you know after you drive this car a lot you don't really realize you know it is a loud car so once you really like drive the car it kind of becomes like normal but the z51 exhaust is pretty loud damn i freaking missed my gopro man <laughs> I hate like having to freaking hold the phone and do this, but yeah, man. But yeah, guys, cosmetic wise. It's not really much, um, you know, I feel like the body lines and the whole design of the car is what really makes this car. Especially people who don't really know Corvettes like that. You know, a lot of them would be like, oh, is that a Ferrari, you know? Because they just don't know. But, you know, they, they did a really good job of just designing the car as a whole. Because just off the design the car looks crazy seriously so but yeah honestly like there's really not too much to you know dislike about the car because there's just so many good things about it even if the c8 is your first car or the c7 is your first car well i mean your first vet right the c8 is my first vet a lot of other people have driven corvettes their whole life but this is my first one and i absolutely love it the only thing i will say is that out of my whole corvette group i am one of the few people that drive their car mostly in, in tour because like i'm truly never really going that crazy like i'm oh i'm usually always in tour if i'm going to a car meet car show or just a rally or something like that i'll throw it in sport maybe track but this car burns oil <laughs> like nobody's business but yeah that is the only thing that is kind of like annoying about this car it just burns oil almost like every two months i'm always going to the dealership so but besides that, bro, I honestly love everything about this car. Like, they thought of everything, you know? And it's really a driver's car. Like, this this whole thing is like a cockpit right here, you know? So, they literally thought about every single thing for this car. But, yeah, let me know. I plan on doing some more POV drives coming up. If you guys want me to, to continue a series so i was thinking of going around to like different cities in florida and 
showing you guys all of like the million dollar homes and all that stuff because i noticed like here in florida it's pretty much in like every city has got really really rich neighborhoods you know and i was like you know what that'd be a dope series to do so let me know if you guys would like to see that series because i could just go from different towns and different cities and try it out so let me know if that's something you guys want to see uh and you know tell me your thoughts in the comments down below give this video a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace